Welcome back, everybody. This is Latin Spike Picks. Today, we'll do the recap for Vegas, UFC Vegas 85, Dalidze versus Imamov. I was just about to do this board with the next fights. Actually, I'm pretty pretty much done those fights. And then I realized I did, never did the recap. Um, can't have that. Let's do the recap and talk about this and, and complain about uh, fighters and stuff like that. I mean, that's, that's even more fun than having a winning, uh, winning week and uh, gloating, you know, I, or, or something like that. Nevertheless, let's start this. Most confident Silva. Um, you know, she's most confident. She was outstriking her. She had a huge speed advantage. She uh, definitely moved around the ring really well. Arujo just kind of followed her around and Silva occasionally would just hit her with a few shots and kind of run away. And I mean, I'm not saying run away, but she had good movement and she definitely kept herself moving and not there as a stationary target. So she fought really well. And then when Arujo did take her uh, or attempted to take her to the ground, she had really good defense. I think she took her down one time and she got back up. Just going from memory, this has actually been a few days so now and I've been watching a lot of other tape. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, dominant performance on Silva. You know, Arujo is definitely on the slower side, powerful but slow. There was even a time where Silva landed a couple of shots and, you know, you know, it was a, I think she knocked her down to one knee or something like that. Um, knocked Arujo down. So it was a good fight. I mean, they give, the judges gave it like 29-28. And I'm trying to think, I thought it was kind of more like a 30-27, tell you the truth. But nevertheless, she was most confident. I mean, it's unbettable individually. As a part of the, she was okay. Um, yeah, so that was good. Uh, moving on. Oh, Urbina. Oh, look, I, I, I even made notes for that night. Urbina, still a loser. <laughs> okay. You know, he comes from a fighting family. And his two brothers weren't that good. And they got blown out. And he when he was fighting in the in that uh in the from the house what was it called um, whatever that is it the contender series or anyways that you when he was fighting the ufc house i you know i remember him going into that final event and he was a last minute guy and, and i bet big against him so because i just don't find him really good but in this case I thought he was fighting somebody who was way overvalued and sucked, which is uh, Radke. So I went with Urbina, figuring he has all the physical tools to get the job done. And be, having gone to, from one from middleweight to to welterweight, he maybe he was I don't know just more competitive in this in this weight class. And then looking at Radke's performance last time against Blood Diamond and how terrible he looked, I thought, no, this, there's no way this guy can beat this guy. So this guy's a loser, but that guy's a bigger loser. But you know what? He's still, he's still the king, I guess. <laughs> so he's still number one in that case. Nevertheless, Radke came in looking pretty good. Um, looked a lot better than he did against blood diamond i don't know if he was training i don't know if he was more motivated uh maybe it was the location maybe he didn't have to fly halfway around the world i don't know but urbina didn't look i mean even we actually had mentioned even before like uh you know the the, the size disparity from what they're saying on the on the on the information sheets like I, I, I was saying that this guy's a lot, Radke's a lot taller than it, they say he is. And yeah, the size disparity wasn't as much. But nevertheless, Urbina didn't use his long range tools very well. He was very hesitant, very frail. He just didn't, he just didn't use his front kicks. He just couldn't keep Radke off. But it didn't look like he was really trying to keep Radke off. Or he didn't do a good job of it anyway. Eventually, Radke kept throwing that left hook and eventually nailed this guy in sayonara right so anyways Radke looked really good definitely his first performance in the ufc um was not a good representation of how well he could do so nevertheless that's wrong uh, maxim oh man i mean you look at the first round and maxim just beat the hell out of johnson 
almost had him out, tried to put him out. Johnson being a tough, vet, a tough guy. I mean, he's not just a veteran, but he's like, he's tough. And this guy can survive anything. And Maxim went to the ground and tried to submit him. And man, you know, this, this Johnson's got such good defense. Like he's really good on the ground defensively. He managed to survive it. He's, he gutted it out. And, uh, you know, came back and took the second round. And uh, Johnson ended up coming back, took the second round. I mean, total bounce back. And the, here's the thing is, you know, I bet Johnson in the last fight. And I knew as the fight goes on, Johnson always gets better and better because he's got great cardio. He just, I don't know, he just does better as the round goes on. He always wins the third round. And every fight I think he's had, he's won the third round. Um, but this time he got to start a little earlier and he managed to win the second. I remember the last fight he fought a grappler. He got up right at the end of the second round. I'm like, man, if he had gotten up like 15, 20 seconds sooner, and just landed a few more shots. He could have stolen that round. And I, I, I was betting on Johnson to do that, that fight. This fight, of course, Maxim, I thought he had much better striking than a lot of the people that Johnson had faced. Uh, but he had grappling as well. And uh, I got to admit, though, I think Maxim might have messed up on a couple of things. There was a couple of um, spots where he could have pulled this off. This was a close fight. So it was not like a dominating fight. But in the third round, Maxim kind of let it slip away. There was there was a point in time in the third round where Maxim was probably winning. And then Johnson, I think, um, landed a few more strikes. And I even to think he took him to the ground. And I think that sealed it. I mean, it was a close fight. But nevertheless, Johnson pulled it off. And good for him. I mean, he's a great fighter. I've, I've bet on him before. And, you know, I'm disappointed that he won when I'm betting against him. Nevertheless... Maxim and uh, I guess now we know why you know he once he fought uh, Tyson um, they had which was no, he was number 20 at the time uh, they started they set him up with a number 27 because they probably saw that this could be this guy's ceiling but I have a feeling you know what there's going to be guys that he's going to be able to beat I think Johnson was just a really bad matchup for him just because of Johnson's talents on the ground being real being able to survive all the submissions and stuff so he's gonna yeah nevertheless um 